morning guys welcome to this episode this beach has been unfishable for ages now look at the weed on the beach not looking good a cracking sunrise it was um it was high tide about two hours ago so i'm fishing into the dropping tide Yeah, there's weed in the water. I don't think I'll be doing much fishing. What I'll do is I'll just flick a lure out a couple of times, or once, uh, just to see how bad it is. There's no side current, so it might not be an issue. It might be at a whole bottom if I could cast it way out. Anyway, I'll flick a lure and see how bad it is. It mightn't be too bad, you know. Shouldn't speak too soon, eh? You can see it on the line. about casting lures but I'm down here I'll put a bait in Righto, this is around about three and a half hours later. We're approaching low tide. I think it's about 20 minutes, half an hour to low tide. Um, I'm determined to get something to eat from that ocean for my birthday. I'm just gonna wander up to my hole and I'll see if I can find some pippies again. 
I did bring the light rod just in case the water looks somewhat reasonable. I'll click this little lure, but um, but the mission is pippies, enough to eat. The water's got a real crappy grey colour to it. Not good at all. So much weed. So this is around about where my hole is. So I'll start looking for pippies. I'll drop my bag down here. Well, I can see weed in the water actually. Well, I guess it's not gonna clear in three hours, is it? Right, the rod can stay there. Bag can stay there. Let's go and have a look. Actually, I don't need my shoes. I better take my phone out of my pocket. I've lost too many phones in this ocean. I've only lost one, but that's too many. Keys. <laughs> what else have I got? I've got some GoPro batteries. And I'll take them out and put them in there too. That's it, I can go in the drink. Nothing's gonna get hurt. Maybe it's time to do the pippy shuffle. See anything. Oh, oh, look at oh yeah, good one that one. No, oh, no, keep him coming. Oh, well, there he is. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that fella right there. <laughs> it's a matter of keeping your balance. It feels like the, the ground is moving under you, so you lose your balance. Another one. Right there. Oh, look, 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 look at the size of that one trying to get away. That's a good size one, that. Look at that. <laughs> Mate, I'm not very fit nowadays. <laughs> that takes it out of you. Oh, look, yeah, there he is. A good old shuffle does work. Oh, there's another one. All right, I'll do a total. Probably need a dozen. Or maybe more. I'll get out of the water. Okay. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, that's fifteen. And that's twenty. Oh look at this fella right here. <laughs> what are you doing up here, mate? He just got washed up right then. Alright, that's twenty-one. I'll make it twenty-four, I'll get two dozen. That'll be a good feed. There he 
is. <sighs> Lucky last. Yeah. All right, that's two dozen. I was determined to get something to eat from that ocean today. <laughs> I'm just going to get some fresh seawater so I can purge them for a while. All right, I bought this two litre uh, drink bottle. I'll fill it up with seawater. There we go. Two litres of seawater. water they haven't got a shoulder strap let's go cook some pippies <laughs> Never cooked pippies before, never eaten pippies before. These are the ingredients I've got. Parsley, bacon, shortcut bacon, garlic, a chili, tomatoes, and spaghetti. And the star of the show, our pippies purging. So I'll be rinsing them off soon. Yeah, I'll just do two cloves of garlic. chili these are generally not too hot these um, bigger ones not hot at all actually I'll put this whole thing in wash my parsley all right let's chop this up bacon I just think two is going to be fine. So I'm just going to cut ones down the center and I'm just going to do these like little battens like that. There we go. I'm just going to do some garlic bread. But um, I've seen them do this, they just, uh, rather than put the garlic on there, they just cut a garlic clove, rub the garlic all over it. The bread's, the bread's like a, a grater, because I've already toasted it and it's, um, it's quite rough, so it's actually grating the garlic. This is a nice, um, Kalamata olive sourdough bread. Should be nice actually. Let's charge in there. I guess the trick will be getting the timing right. So I'm just about to put the pasta on and apparently while the pasta's cooking, you do the rest of it ready for when the pasta's ready. You throw the pasta in, toss it all through and uh, that's it, Bob's your uncle.
All right, time to do the final rinse on the pippies. Say goodbye to your seawater. Rinse them in fresh. All right, they're ready to go. Get this pan ready to go. It calls for a lot of um, olive oil. There we go. Probably about three tablespoons, I'd say. Maybe four. to do for one person I guess it's going to be Should be enough for me I'd say all right we'll get our chili in there and our garlic Pasta a stir so that it doesn't stick. I hate it when spaghetti sticks together. Tell you what, that's ready for the pippies. Toss them through. Little splash of white wine. As they open, it takes about four or five minutes. As they open, you've got to pick them out of there, put them aside, finish off the sauce, and then at the end, just throw them back in. All right, they're just starting to open now. All right, we've got one ready. Two. Three. I'll just open there. One doesn't want to open. I'll get rid of him. And the tomatoes. Parsley. A bit more wine. And just because I can, a little knob of butter. I don't know whether to do salt because they're pretty salty. I'll do it just a little bit for these tomatoes. Definitely some pepper. Try those tomatoes to cook down just a little bit. And um, like that pretty much. I reckon that's done. Pippies can go back in. Pasta. Put some of that water, doesn't have a bit of the water, apparently that's good for the sauce. I reckon we can plate that up, what do you reckon? Mate, are you kidding me? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna open up a restaurant. Have a look at how good that looks. Anyway, cheers guys. Oh yeah, I gotta try a pippy. All right, here's one on top. Oh, 
Wow, they're actually really nice. Not a grain of sand, I was kind of expecting a bit of grit. Mmm. Oh, they're pretty good. Mmm. A little bit of grit in that one. <laughs> one more. Look at that. That's a good one. They've got a beautiful flavour. Mm. Garlic bread. This is absolutely sensational. I wasn't expecting this, I'll be honest with you. I don't really know what I was expecting. This I will do again. This is just absolutely beautiful. Oh mate. I'm gonna take this in there and I'm gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of this. And there's still seconds to go. This is not all of it. Wow. Well, once again, no fish, but I um, don't oh, know, what can you do really? Uh, that weed just won't let up. This has been the worst season, spring into summer I can remember. It's horrible. But I was determined to get something to eat from that ocean today on my birthday. All right, guys, thanks very much for persevering with me and, uh, and watching this to the end, if you have. And uh, well, if you like it, give it a thumbs up for me. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers. <music>